It's like a gap where the ceiling peeled down, but not very far. What? That's funny. I stepped on a rock and it was slippery. Almost fell down. Now it's okay. Look at this. There's a passage back here, but I decided it's too small for me to get through. The cool part, it's not a dead end. It's a side passage that loops around over there, comes back. So in a few minutes, I'll come around to the other side from that other half of the tube. Kind of cool. But for now, oops, let me get my backpack on. Notice the tube here is huge, probably 20 feet in diameter or more. I would say it's super easy, except the floor is a bit uneven. Oh well. Notice it curves to the right. There's a point to this, I swear. Oops, I stepped on a rock, but I didn't aim very well. See the landing right on the center of the rock. I was at the edge, about to slip off. That's kind of stupid of me. I have to be careful, so injure myself here. It's kind of hard to crawl, call 911 from underneath six feet of rock. I'm gonna pan up here. I want to show you the ceiling. Ceiling is weird. That's a compliment that it gave. Whoops, dang it, hang on. I panned up and then I accidentally pushed the wrong button to bring it back down. Arc. Okay, there we go. Darn it. Hang on, my gimbal's being stupid. Okay, there we go. I'm trying to show off the ceiling here. I accidentally bumped my gimbal. Just notice the shapes and the colors. Fascinating. Okay, that's all. But that was a lot of work to see the ceiling, huh? All right, anyway. So check it out. See how the tube is huge and it keeps going? So obviously, that's not where I'm going. Here we go. All right, so. This is that same side passage I showed you earlier. It's a little bit tight for me to get through all the way. But I can get through part of it, can't I? Yes, I can. I'm going to. Just gotta adjust my knee pads. It echoes in here. It's a good thing there aren't any bats in this part of the cave. My voice would probably echo, wake them up. something gross but cool so notice most of the floor is rock right look at this that brown spot that's all animal droppings it's like a huge collection of pack rat you know what so yeah I'm gonna stay a little bit to the left of that mess okay here's the funny part I can't go much farther so I'm gonna be lazy I'll leave my backpack out here. I have a little bit of confidence in this one flashlight. That way I can go a little faster, quieter. Unless somebody steals my backpack. Now they really suck. Here we go.
there as you can see it's kind of a way back there I don't think I fit so realistically if I had to get through I think I'd crawl around this side very rough floor I'm not gonna bother to do it today maybe if I come by with some uh, other high-speed cavers of course It'd be better to split up have some people go the easy way some people go the hard way so we can take pictures of each other all right okay so my backpack as you can see a few dozen feet ahead normally i wouldn't leave it in the cave like that but save myself some time oh man. boy i'm hungry after this cave i'm gonna have myself some lunch I figured this cave was skinny enough if this flashlight went bad I could feel my way back to my backpack. All right, so you know, this is mostly flat, some breakdown rocks. There's that pile of animal poop again. Notice some of it's fresh. I swear though, I've been in a lot of caves. I've seen a lot of animal droppings, but I've only once actually seen a pack rat. That was really cool. I got a video. I don't remember which cave it was. I think it was Eastern Oregon. 